Well, here we are. Once you've installed Windows Server 2012 successfully, you will find yourself, once you log in and you'll have to put in the password for the administrative account that you created on the install, you will find yourself located on the Windows Server 2012 desktop. Now for the version that I have at the time I'm making this, this is the standard desktop that was shipping with it. Yours could look slightly different. Notice there's nothing here. There's a little Windows Server 2012 logo and the recycle bin. Another thing you're going to notice, and a little later on, by the way, I'll replace this with the VTC logo, and you'll see a different desktop. But I wanted you to see this because this is what you're probably going to be looking at the first time that you install this and open it up. And, of course, you can customize your own. Now, in Windows Server 2012, we got the new interface that we first got a little glimpse of in Windows 8. And if you remember all the hoopla that happened when Windows 8 was released, everybody saw the new interface, and they just kind of basically went nuts. They didn't like it. They weren't going to use it. They, you know, all kinds of sorts of things were going to happen. But then they used it for a couple of days, and they started thinking, well, I kind of like this. Same thing happened with me. Same thing happened with a lot of folks. You're going to have the same interface in Windows Server 2012, and I want to show you a couple of things here, give you a little tour, and show you also, in Windows Server 2012, it doesn't come up on the Start menu. It comes up on the desktop. Let me show you how to see the Start menu. You'll notice there's no Start button down here. All we do have is this little icon. This is the Server Manager, and if I click that, I can very quickly get out to the Server Manager, and in reality, this is where I'm usually going to go to administer a Windows Server 2012 server or domain or whatever. Also, automatically have by default a quick link out to Windows PowerShell environment and to my libraries environment. So that's there by default. And now I want to show you, if I just take the mouse to the lower left corner and just kind of let it hover there for a second, bring it all the way to the bottom. I hadn't clicked anything. I just drag it down there. Notice this little icon of the Start menu appears. If I click that, it takes me to the Start menu, and then I can just scroll back and forth. Now, you can use a tilt wheel, or you can scroll forward and back on the wheel on your mouse. You can come down here and grab the bar, left-click it, and drag it back and forth. But as you install more programs, they'll continue to spread to the right here. These tiles are just like links that we used to see on the old Start menu in Windows 7 and before. Notice for Administrative Tools, if I left-click, it opens Administrative Tools for me. Now let me show you a shortcut and one that you need to get used to, and that is if I go out to the Start menu and right-click on the Administrative Tools tile, I can come down to the bottom and pin that to the taskbar. Now notice there is a Desktop tile here, and if I left-click on that, it takes me out to the desktop. And pin to the start bar. Down here is Administrative Tools. Click that one time, and there I am, right into Administrative Tools. Now, there's an even better shortcut for getting out to that Start menu and then back to the desktop. And that is to simply press the Windows key. Now, on your keyboard, the Windows key is most likely the key that's right next to your space bar on the left side. It has that little Windows logo. So I'm going to press mine now, and notice it jumped me out to the Start menu. Press it again, takes me back to the desktop. So I can sit here and just toggle back and forth very easily to get from one to the other. Now one other thing I want to show you, notice I have the Microsoft Office Suite installed, and I can grab these tiles and drag them around and reorganize things however I would like to have those. So very easy to customize this. You can go out and play with this. Look at the tiles that you have. But it's a new interface and it's weird. Let me show you one more thing before I let you go here. How do I shut this machine down? There's no Start button down here. Well, what I'm going to do is drag to the lower right corner, and when I position my mouse here, you'll notice these things popped out. And if I move my mouse up after that appears, then it turns black. And if I click on Settings, you'll see I have some options here. And if I click on Power, there I can shut down or restart. So that's a quick look, very quick look, at the new Windows Server 2012 interface.